Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we'll be going over the different ways you can integrate SwitchBot products with Home Assistant. There are actually three different ways that SwitchBot devices to Home Assistant, and we'll be covering them all in this video. The first option is with Bluetooth integration. And while you won't need any SwitchBot hub, you do need to have Bluetooth working with your Home Assistant deployment. This can be through your Home Assistant hub directly or through a Bluetooth proxy. Just keep in mind that Bluetooth does have a shorter range compared to other wireless technologies, so reliability might be an issue, which can be overcome with several Bluetooth proxies. The Bluetooth integration currently supports several devices, such as the SwitchBot Bot, Curtain 3, Contact Sensor, Lock Pro, and several others. SwitchBot also plans on having support added for several additional devices through the Bluetooth integration in April of 2025, such as the SwitchBot Roller Shade, Air Purifier, Water Leak Detector, and several other devices. The second option is with the SwitchBot Cloud integration, which does require you to have a SwitchBot hub. With this integration, you'll have support for SwitchBot devices such as the Plug Mini, Lock, Meter, and several of the SwitchBot robot vacuums, and many others. Take note that each sensor will request a status update from the SwitchBot Cloud API every 10 minutes, and the API limits users to 10,000 requests per day. This means that you are limited to at most 69 SwitchBot sensors through this integration. Also keep in mind that for IR appliances, the state is inferred from previous commands issued from Home Assistant and may not be in sync if you control the IR appliance through other means such as the SwitchBot app. The third way to integrate SwitchBot devices into Home Assistant is through Matter. This integration method will require you to have a SwitchBot Matter bridge. Currently, there are a few different ways to get a SwitchBot Matter bridge into your smart home. Primarily though, through having a SwitchBot Hub too. There are a few devices that can currently do Matter over Wi-Fi, but primarily you'll need a hub with Matter bridge in order to get the devices working with Matter. Depending on the integration method, we'll determine what devices can work with Home Assistant and how they can be used. For example, the Hub 2 over the cloud integration will share humidity and temperature information. However, over the Bluetooth integration, you'll also get light level and illuminance information. To set up SwitchBot integration over Bluetooth, first make sure that you have an adequate Bluetooth coverage where the devices you want to add are located. As long as you have the needed Bluetooth coverage, navigate to Devices and Services under Settings. You should then see your SwitchBot devices under Discovered, showing them as the SwitchBot Bluetooth integration. Click on Add for the device or devices you want to add and walk through the setup process. Once it's added, you'll be able to interact with it just like any other device, including adding it into automations. If your SwitchBot device is not showing up under Discovered, and you know it should be within the Bluetooth range, you can try manually adding it. To do this, click on Add Integration and search for SwitchBot. Then click on the SwitchBot integration and click on SwitchBot Bluetooth. Any SwitchBot devices that can be added over Bluetooth will show up here. Take note that for certain SwitchBot devices being added over Bluetooth, will require a key ID and encryption key to be entered during an integration setup, which does have two different options. The first way is manually getting the key information from the device and entering it. The manual method is outside the scope of this video, but I will have a link for the steps required in the description below. And the second method is through your SwitchBot account. If using your account, you will need to enter in your username and password so that Home Assistant can temporarily log in to get key information. Doing this method does not store your credentials in Home Assistant. To set up the SwitchBot Cloud integration, you'll first need to go into the SwitchBot app and navigate to Profiles, Preferences, About, and Developer Options. If Developer Options is not present in Preferences, tap the app version several times to enable the Developer Options. From the Developer Options, you'll need to copy both the token and secret key. Next, from Home Assistant, navigate to Devices and Services under Settings. After, click on Add Integration and search for SwitchBot. Click on the SwitchBot selection and then click on SwitchBot Cloud. Doing so will give you a pop-up where you will need to enter in the token and secret key that we recently got from the SwitchBot app. Once both are entered, you can click on Submit. After, you'll be presented with all the SwitchBot devices in your SwitchBot account that can be added into Home Assistant, allowing for you to assign them to an area. Once you're all set, you can click on Submit. As can be seen, you can run both the Bluetooth and Cloud SwitchBot integrations at the same time. And you can in fact have the same devices running under both of them. To add SwitchBot devices to Home Assistant via Matter, you'll first need to have your Home Assistant hub set up running Matter, which is outside the scope of this video. As a reminder, you'll also need to have a SwitchBot Matter hub set up, such as the Hub 2 within the SwitchBot app. 
To get started, you'll either have to have a QR code on the back of your Matter Bridge, or you'll need to capture the Matter code from within the SwitchBot app. Since I have one of the original Hub 2s, I'll need to get the Matter code from the SwitchBot app. To get the Matter code from the SwitchBot app, navigate to the device and click on the cog in the top right hand corner. Next, click on Matter Setup. From here, you'll be presented with the Matter Setup QR code that you can save the image for to your phone, or just capture the code itself. Next, from the Home Assistant app on your mobile device, navigate to Devices and Services under Settings. Then click on Add Integration and search for and select Add Matter Device. You'll then be prompted with a pop-up asking if the device was already joined to a Matter controller. If the SwitchBot Matter bridge is already joined to another controller, you'll select Yes and follow the prompts based on what the controller is joined to. Otherwise, you'll select No. Since my SwitchBot Hub 2 has not been joined to any other Matter controller yet, I'm going to select No It's New. Next, you'll get a camera prompt to take a picture of the Matter QR code. If you're like me and only have a code to enter, click on Setup without a QR code. With either option completed, you'll be walked through the steps of onboarding the Matter Bridge. For this step, make sure your mobile phone is connected to the same wireless network you want your Matter Bridge to connect to. In most cases, this will need to be a 2.4 GHz wireless network. You'll also need to set the device into setup mode. For the Hub 2, you need to hold down the on and off button on the front of it for a few seconds until the dot on it flashes rapidly. Once all set, click on I'm ready. Your phone will then go through the process of connecting to the device to onboard it and having it connect to the same wireless network the phone is connected to. This process will take a few moments. If everything goes to plan and the SwitchBot Matter Bridge is added to Home Assistant, you'll be brought back to the Home Assistant app for the device that was just added. Now that the SwitchBot Matter Bridge is joined to Home Assistant, we need to go back to the SwitchBot app to bind devices to it so that they can be shared via Matter. To do this, go back to the settings page for the device and click on Matter Setup once more. This time, the page should look a little different. Click on Add for secondary devices. Here you can select which supported devices can be shared via Matter from this device. For the SwitchBot Hub 2, it can share up to 8 supported devices. As can be seen, some devices may need to have their firmware updated for this to work depending on when you try to set up Matter. With the devices you want shared selected, you can go back to Home Assistant where they will automatically be available via Matter. And with that, we successfully added our SwitchBot devices to Home Assistant to control them through Home Assistant, and more importantly, to be able to utilize them as part of our smart home automations. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that it should be shared with others. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first to know when I release other smart home related videos just like this one. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy automating.